Closer to home now, it's no secret that the youth in Colleen and Hawker Heights have struggled with crime, school fights and bullying. But now five kids are coming together to tackle those problems head on with a radio program. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore is in the studio to tell us how. Hey, Andrew. Chris, after seeing youth struggle in her community, a local mom got together with KRGN to help them create a youth focused radio program. And I got to meet several of the young radio hosts in training today. We hope you enjoyed this as much as we did because like I learned a lot. Jimmy Gonzalez never thought he would be training to interview guests on live radio, but the 14 year old will soon be part of the area's first youth radio program. The now generation inspirational crew coming here together it really means that you all are the leaders of your generation. So y'all have that extra responsibility. The show launches in two weeks. So Gonzalez and four other local kids practiced interviewing Colleen Councilman Gregory Johnson today. What can you do for our generation? And each has an issue they want to confront in their local schools or neighborhoods as the show goes forward. A lot of you know trends that are going around like the Tide Pod Challenge or something like that. And I want to see stuff like that turn into a good or switch into a better thing. For some, it's helping other kids boost confidence or get motivated. For others, it's bullying. That person can go on thinking their entire life that this is true because this one person said it. But first, they are learning the basics, learning to work as a team on air. I believe that is all the time we have here. Oh. Writing scripts, figuring out the production side. For Penny Reese, who inspired the kids to do the show, it's an exciting moment. The kids can talk at their language to get whatever issues out there uh, conveyed to everybody because they'll be able to call in and get some actual answers. And while future topics are still in the works, the kids hope that they can be a familiar voice to others, letting their classmates and friends know they aren't alone. Tell you that they do have a voice and that they can be heard by the Youth Radio Show will start up February 3rd at noon, and we will tell you where you can keep an eye on that new radio team at KCENTV.com. Chris? All right, Andrew, thanks so much.